Good morning, everybody. The sun decided to show up and burn off some fog. Amen, baby. Because that's some delicious looking landscape right there, baby. Anyway, hope you're doing wonderful. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm still going to do the comedy. I'll do that one later, that romantic comedy. This one is a really quick one, hopefully. When I was a journalist, studying to be a journalist, blah, 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 I knew I was never going to work for CNN. And I, t I have videos in my past, in my archives, that I talk about this. And uh, shout out to Classic Journalism. And I was, CNN is the reason why I studied journalism, why I chose journalism. And CNN is the reason why I will never be a journalist. I, and, I, and the reason why I say I make fun of people that were on camera, I was talking about like broadcasters, broadcast journalists, like assholes like George Stephanopoulos, that little fucking hobbit, what a loser. And the people like that, you know, that always have to be on the camera and they're always, oh my God, you know, that kind of, that's who I would make fun of. Not normal people just doing their videos. I'm talking about, yeah, that for, to me it was like, I used to, because I was really of the mind of being a hard journalist, a war correspondent, that kind of thing. I'd go find the action and report on it regardless of what it was supposed to be about. That was classic CNN. And then it became all censored bullshit and engulfed in the empire. But the reason why, one of the reasons why I would never be is because I, just, I found out what was going on. I, I knew about this, uh, they call it the deep state, shadow governments. Um, basically dark, evil, fucking people running the whole world. We, I just call them the evil empire, it makes it easy. Bill of Burgers, Trilateral Commissions, the, the Commission on National Foreign Council, that kind of thing. But just all scum, right? And and it's been it's been discovered in Ukraine all these bioweapon labs with plague and all this other crap that they've been testing. And they were that basically goes against a previous treaty of a long standing treaty of uh, bioweapons. Yeah, you're not it's a, it was a big no no, right? And I talked about the billion dollars that Joe Biden was refusing to give to Ukraine until Ukraine fired the prosecutor and the prosecutor got fired and the prosecutor was licking the Burisma with his son Hunter Biden, which, who smokes crack on video with, with Russian hookers and complains about the Russian mob having his laptop. And none of that even get, makes public knowledge. I, I just don't understand that, man. Anyways, I digress. But the point is, it's just so amazing. So anyways, so now we know what the billion dollars was for. The bioweapons lab, part of it. I, I know that there's money laundering involved too, but and apparently there's bio labs all over the, I mean, there's CIA bases everywhere too, all these, scum, they're scumbags. This is just the evil empire being exposed for what they are. And what does this do? All of a sudden, Putin is no longer the bad guy. How fucked up is that? Because Putin's like, dude, I knew the bio labs were there. I wanted to expose it. How was I going to do it? And how do you, how, what do you do if you're the president of the Ukraine, right? How fucked are you? Because you're, you're left holding the bag of dirty money and the gun that just shot the clerk. That's the fucking president of Ukraine. Because all this was under his watch. Either he didn't know about the bio lab, weapon labs, which is a possibility. They're in Syria too, by the way. Syria, that's what, that, that Middle East has a, like four or five bio weapons labs there which is and they have um, CIA bases there that are just deep state bullshit I digress but this is the reason why I had to stop being a journalist and start painting and this is why I used to laugh at people that were on camera because they were a bunch of snobby elites you know like I said I wasn't talking about the normal person just doing their videos I was I, I thought the narcissists and the egotists were the broadcast journalists <clears throat> You know, it's, it is what it is. I want to get my voice out and I'm going to do what I got to do. If this is my way of communicating, this is my way of doing like citizen journalism, then that's what I'll do. That's what I, you can call it. I'd rather just be an artist and make you laugh and smile and, you know, and make you think about stuff. Because like, um, the next video I'm going to do is going to be a romantic comedy. It's going to be a lot lighter. I'm going to do a little more research into it before I just throw it out there. Because normally I'm just, you know, flying by the seat of my pants, you know, doing guerrilla journalism. Just spewing it and letting it go and it turns out pretty decent for the most part but anyway that's it so apparently there's bioweapons all over Ukraine that were run by our secret government 
How charming. Like I said, these people are evil. I knew they were evil. And, you know, it's hard to get it out when nobody's listening. Except for a couple of people. Thank you, by the way. For your subscribing and liking, feel free to share. That's probably the biggest problem is sharing my videos, I'm sure. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And I'm coming out. And the universe loves you, too. And they love romantic comedies. And we'll talk about that later. Anyway, I want you to have a wonderful day, okay? And good luck and God bless.